uh, voices to uh, the women to tell us uh, what they think, whether they have become the subject of attacks uh, in this ongoing crisis. We are going to be discussing with uh, three uh, ladies for this edition of the program. Dr. Simu Marcel is still on her way to join us, but already in the studio with us is uh, Delphine Bungu. Uh, she is uh, the co coordinator of uh, is um, Fume Fume. No, I'm the field coordinator of Kumu Fefe. Nkumu Fefe, and a member of the Southwest Northwest uh, Women Task Force, uh, all the way from Bali. We're glad to have you for the first time with us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. How is uh, Bali when you left? Great. Cool. Hmm. Many, many persons uh, would want to imagine how life looks like in uh, Bali. Um, life in Bali... It's true, before the crisis, it's not the same, but um, it's okay. We live, we, we, we go about our activities, and uh, it's not the same like before, but it's okay. It's fine. Are you not scared? Scared of? I don't know, of the prevailing atmosphere or situation. I will not say I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, that's, you that's, feel at home in Bali? That's my home. I feel very happy. <laughs> okay, we're glad to have you with us uh, for the first time in our studios. We equally are going to be relating with uh, Professor Lilian Lem Atanga, who is uh, in the United States of America. Uh, Professor, we're glad to have you on the show for the first time. Thank you very much. How are you doing, too? I'm doing very well, thank you. Okay, I will start uh, asking you how um, you took uh, the killings of uh, treasure and comfort. It's been a build up of pain. Mm -hmm. From one you hope is the last, the next you hope is the last, and yesterday, I must admit that I didn't eat yesterday, I didn't work, I didn't read, I didn't do anything. I was just in the utmost pain imaginable mm. when you saw that um, you told yourself that women have become a subject of attack in this crisis or you thought uh, you, you felt that they found themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time no I used to hear that women are weapons of war during the Congo crisis and I never imagined what it meant for a woman to be a weapon of war. Then I read about rape as a weapon of war. That was even milder because at least they were raped and left alive. But the new trend in Cameroon is a trend I've not heard, where women's bodies are used as gruesome weapons of war, irrespective of who is using them. And I think that's the worst thing that can happen to humanity and to women as a whole. I think here, it is us women now, it doesn't matter your color, your tribe, your political orientation. Women are weapons of war. Our bodies are problems. Our thoughts are problems. I think this is getting too far. Um, you say women are weapons of war. I, I don't understand that. What do we mean by women uh, being used as weapons of war? Are they used uh, for uh, the for political propaganda or to pass a message on? When women begin to be attacked mm -hmm. because of who is your brother, who is your husband, who is your boyfriend, who is your your father, in relation to a political problem, that is problematic. Because women in themselves are just human beings who are just living their lives. But when you problematize their individual lives and make them political and kill them for that. We seems to have uh, some connection problem. Uh, Eli, can we recognize with Professor out there in the United States of America? But uh, do you also think that uh, women are used as uh, weapons of war? 
Delphine. Yes, um, it's really devastating. Women, women, women. Because if you look at the trend, mm -hmm. you know, it's like they are the ones at the for I mean, at the forefront. So we begin to ask ourselves, you know, do we deserve this? We really do not deserve this. We don't deserve this because they are the ones who are accused of being uh, uh, black legs. They are the ones who are being accused of. Uh, 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 spying on one camp or the other. They are the ones who are being accused of feeding one camp or the other. They are the ones who are being... And, I mean, come to think of it, they are these same women who bear these children, you know. We bore them. We bring them to life. And to imagine that they turn around and they start using women, using us, you know, to settle their scores, it is really, really unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Now, these actions, do you think that um, it is a calculated uh, move to want to use women to pass, to score political points, or um, women are just unfortunate? Um, I'm not doing partisan politics, but I would say that I think they are using women to, I mean, to, to, I can say to portray their weaknesses, you know, because we have been talking for months, for weeks, for years now, that women should be on the table for a discourse, for a peaceful resolution of this conflict, you know. I never saw any woman, you know, being the initiator of all of this, but now we are the victims. We are the most affected, you know. I would just say that the men are using women just to portray their weaknesses. Why don't you face your fellow man? Why a woman? Why face a woman? Face your fellow man because you people started this thing. So face each other and, and, and sort it out. But as we s said it and we always say and we we'll continue saying, women have to come to the limelight to get meaningful and lasting solution to this problem. Okay. Um, have you uh, taken time to reach out to the family of uh, Comfort or Treasure uh, for Moyuka and uh, possibly Bamenda? Um, or you guys are still working on that? We are still working on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have just been so terrified and shocked, you know. You know, I could not even look at this image, you know. <laughs> when I saw these guys first of all lift up this machete, I was like, what is going on? I thought it was a joke. I was like, you know, even my, my, my grandmother taught me, even when you're slaughtering your animal or your fowl to eat, mm -hmm. you, you even say a little prayer. Mm -hmm. And to think of it that there was a, 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 a subsequent video that even showed that this girl was actually interrogated. She was asked questions and, you know, passed judgment. It is really devastating. You know, we have not, it, it is, if I tell you I have had a good night's sleep, mm -hmm. you know, you can tell, you can see the, the times I even sent you some messages. Mm -hmm. I cannot, we are not sleeping. Mm -hmm. It is terrible. But we are working on that to see how we can even reach out to them, um, especially to the children. The children are now, they are left orphans. Who, 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 who caters for them? We know the mother is the foundation. Of, of, of the of the home mm -hmm. it's a foundation of the family it's a foundation of of every of every uh, 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 community. institution community mm -hmm. you know what happens to these children what happens to them so it's it's really it's unfortunate okay uh, I don't know whether we are connected to, uh, to professor Lillian uh, from the United States are you there professor Yes, I'm present. Yes, uh, yes, you were trying to to explain to us uh, how women are being used as uh, weapons of war. Yes, um, when fighting factions mm. put in their mind that women are involved in catering for humanity, we are African people and we know that a woman is at the center of the cradle 
They are the ones who nurse. They are the ones. Wow. Quoi la collection est faite l'autre gauche comme ça? Okay, uh, certainly uh, we have issues with our connection today. I don't know, but we have just been joined by Li uh, Zhang Zhang of the CPDM party. Bonsoir, bienvenue. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Bonsoir, Madame. Ah, ça fait longtemps. Hein? Oui, bon, c'est quand on est invité qu'on vient. Je, je, je m'excuse de là pour le long, 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 long time, comme on dit chez vous. Mais non, je suis là sans plaisir d'être ici et surtout en ce moment pénible, le deuil où des femmes innocentes sont massacrées mm -hmm. pour des raisons inutiles, vraiment inutiles. Oui, euh, vous, vous avez suivi ce qui se passe euh, dans le nord-ouest et le sud-est. Tout à fait. Euh, vos réactions oh, La première réaction, c'est celle d'un homme, un être humain qui a mal et qui comprend qu'une femme n'a pas à être d'abord violée parce que toute la nuit, elle a été violée. Et quand je dis violer, c'est dans le sens le plus atroce du terme, par un nombre impressionnant d'hommes qui ont pris de la drogue. Et vous vous imaginez ce, ce que cette femme a subi. Et le lendemain, elle est entraînée dans la rue, les mains attachées et abattue. Ce n'est pas qu'on a pris une arme, on a tiré sur elle, c'est qu'on a pris la machette, on a tapé. On a tapé, on a tapé, on a tapé, on a tapé jusqu'à ce qu'elle meure. En dehors d'elle, la, la semaine d'avant, une autre a été tuée parce qu'on estime et on soupçonne qu'elle a des relations avec un policier. Deux jours avant, c'est un enseignant qui a été tué parce qu'il a dit que lui veut donner cours à nos enfants. Il veut continuer à transmettre l'éducation. Hier, yeah, une jeune fille qui a dit qu'elle veut faire son bac, qu'on a tué. Comme ça, nous avons donc des gens qui ont enlevé leur euh, démon, disons, leur envie, leur bestialité, et l'ont transposé sur les pauvres femmes. Ces femmes-là qui sont nos mamans, nos soeurs, ces femmes-là qui, dans la région du Nord-Ouest et du Sud-Ouest, quand il y a un ce sont les femmes là-bas qui tiennent le foyer. C'est elles qui vont au champ, c'est elles qui nourrissent la famille. Um, now, do you think that women are just uh, victims of uh, what they know little about all? Uh, they have brought this uh, on themselves. Uh, professor, I don't know whether you are back. Hello? Do you think that women have brought this pain to themselves or they are just uh, victims? Women, we are just we, we are just victims mm -hmm. because I don't see where I mean how a woman should bring that pain upon herself. You know, there's no reason for a woman to bring pain upon herself because she knows her responsibilities. Mm -hmm. She knows her role that she has to play. So there's really it's really out of place for a woman to deliberately or intentionally bring pain upon herself. You know, we are just victims of the circumstances. And we are, you know, out. We decry and we say, no, it has to stop. The stakeholders, mm -hmm. all the stakeholders should come to uh, put their minds and hearts together and let us get a solution to this problem. Okay. We are tired. We are sick. Professor, are you are you are you there? Hello, Professor. Yes, I am. I get you five on five. Yes, can you continue with where um, uh, this? I don't know what's wrong with the internet today. Just go on. Yes, uh, we stopped at the point when you asked me if how women are weapons of war, mm -hmm. and I told you they are weapons not because they cause 
themselves to be weapons, but by their very nature okay. as African women. Because a woman fits a soldier in our situation, the Cameroon military or the Amber Boys, she is stacked a black leg on either side. Because a woman uh, is a brother or a wife to a soldier, she is a black leg. Because a woman, by her very... Ça va jamais déranger. Uh, definitely, uh, that's a problem with the, with the network uh, today. Um, Delphine, we are talking of uh, the, let, let's just take a practical example. You live in in Bali with many women. How is uh, the relationship between you and uh, because I know there are separatist uh, fighters in Bali? How what what is the rapport between you and or the people living there? Are you constantly attacked? Are you suspected? Well, I'm not. I'm not suspected. I'm well. I don't know whether I'm suspected, mm -hmm. but all I know is my quest for a peaceful resolution of this conflict. I stand by it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's true. They are. You know, the non-state armed groups. They are there. Their military is equally there. But we live our lives and you mind your business. Each and every person mind his, his or her business. Mm -hmm. You know. And like I always say, it's not like um, some of them were fabricated from the laboratory and, 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 and deposited. They are not drones. They are not uh, caricatures. They are, I mean, they are, they are our children. They are our brothers. They are our husbands. You know, there are people we interacted with in the communities before now. So why has it suddenly become a, 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 I don't know, become a taboo or become something that you have, don't have to relate with one, 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 one camp or another? It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is really disturbing. Are you afraid for other women when you look at what happened to Treasure in Romenda and uh, what happened uh, to Comfort in Moyuka and a host of others because uh, from this, uh, we know that uh, two other girls were beheaded in Kumbu and um, in Batibo, somewhere around Batibo. Do you fear for many more women? I am, if I say just fear, I'm terrified. Okay. I'm terrified. That is why I would call on behalf of, I mean, our national coordinator that they should the stakeholders should call for a meaningful and sustainable dialogue mm -hmm. with all the parties. There's nobody, there's nobody who is like a no go zone or I'm not talking with this person or I'm not talking with this person. There's no way you can say you will not negotiate or you will not talk with some other person. There's a need for everybody to sit around the table and for everybody to sit around the table and women in particular. We have to be there. Mm -hmm. Women uh, should be there. Um, Professor, are you back? Seemingly, the network is coming from your, your end. The network issues. Oh. Yes. My network shows it's good. Okay. Yeah, you are developing uh, uh, a point where women are caught uh, uh, between um, the, 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 the sea and the fire because uh, they are married to soldiers and maybe their brothers to amber boys yes and we are calling on all fighters to desist from attacking women to desist from killing them and raping them because relationships especially uh, family relationships are not negotiated i cannot be punished simply for being a sister or a wife to your enemy. So we are calling on the different factions, the state and the non-state fighters, to desist from using women's bodies as weapons of war, to desist from raping them and killing them as has 
been the situation recently. Do you, as uh, women, feel betrayed by your children and uh, brothers? We are betrayed by the systems, by the institutions, because it's gone beyond just an individual's thinking. This thinking has become, it has spread out such that when they are punishing the women, they no longer look at them as mothers or brothers or husbands. They look at them as the enemy, which is problematic. Because the moment we fail to protect the civilian in a conflict, we have failed the conflict itself. Humanitarian rights do not allow for the killing of unarmed civilians. Okay. Mais um, uh, Elie, vous, vous comprenez, est-ce que uh, vous croyez que les mamans ont été trahies? Euh, je voudrais d'abord dire à Delphine, oui. Delphine que j'admire beaucoup son courage, parce que j'aurais suivi qu'elle vit dans la à zone, Bali. Oui, elle vit dans la zone où il y a beaucoup de conflits, et être ici, et s'exprimer, vous savez, elle peut être à tort, mm -hmm accusé de pactiser avec, euh, disons, l'État. Le fait d'être venu ici et de parler, il ne faudrait pas que euh, les séparatistes prennent ça mal et fassent de l'homme procès et disent que non. Euh, le courage qu'elle a de parler, euh, euh, God bless you, et j'admire beaucoup votre courage. Il faut être courageuse en tant que femme de s'exprimer en ce moment-ci. La deuxième chose, c'est que, justement, son courage qu'elle a avec les autres femmes va entraîner un mouvement. Vous savez, dans les régions du jeu anglophone, les femmes ont un rôle essentiel dans la famille, plus que chez nous les francophones. Ou c'est plutôt l'homme mm -hmm. qui est le moteur de la famille. Oh, chez eux, ce sont les femmes. Et quand les femmes se mettent déjà devant, ça peut avoir un impact. La troisième chose que je veux dire, c'est que les belligérants qui commencent à frapper sur les femmes le font sciemment, parce que en touchant les femmes, ça ça heurte les sensibilités, ça fait mal. Oui, madame, en Cameroun, à terre, nous tous sommes fatigués de cette histoire. Maintenant, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire Vous avez dit qu'il faut s'asseoir autour d'une table et parler. Et, et, et je suis d'accord avec vous qu'il ne faut pas choisir Léonard, je n'aime pas Delphine, j'aime Delphine. Non, c'est une histoire où on doit s'asseoir, qu'on s'aime ou qu'on ne s'aime pas pour parler. Maintenant, pour qu'on parle, il y a une seule condition, c'est que on prenne les armes, on dépose par terre et on dit allons nous asseoir pour parler. Maintenant il y en a qui déposent les armes il y en a qui refusent de déposer les armes. C'est eux qui sont donc actuellement en train de commettre tous les terreurs là. Pourquoi Parce que eux, ils ont trouvé de quoi survivre à travers cela. Quand on vous arrête et qu'on vous tue, ils ont 5 millions de francs CFA. 5 millions. <rire> oui, oui. Parce qu'ils ont justement des gens à l'étranger, aux États-Unis, où le professeur nous suit, en Norvège, en Angleterre, qui financent cela. Et vous savez qu'à un moment donné, quand on tuait un militaire et qu'on ramenait son arme, on avait un bonus. Quand on coupait sa tête, on avait un bonus. Vous prenez un jeune qui, avant cette guerre, ne faisait rien, peut-être faisait la moto, et avait à peine 5 000, 10 000 à la fin de la semaine. Aujourd'hui, aujourd'hui, il est un seigneur de guerre. Il a les femmes comme il veut, parce qu'il arrête où il veut, il les vieux comme il veut. Il a de l'argent. Il a. C'est un seigneur de guerre. Pour lui, c'est difficile d'arrêter parce qu'il estime que là, il est un peu plus riche. Donc voilà le combat qu'on devons mener. Le combat qu'on a vu, c'est les forces positives doivent lutter contre les forces négatives. Et c'est pourquoi vous les femmes, quand vous venez parler comme ça là, il faut qu'on vous encourage. Il faut qu'on vous protège. Il faut que l'armée se déploie de plus en plus pour protéger la population. Et la bonne chose qu'il faut faire, c'est que les populations commencent déjà à être fatiguées. Parce que ce qu'on a arrêté hier et avant-hier, ce sont les populations qui ont commencé à les trahir, à les désirer. Vous avez dit qu'on se connaît tous. On connaît qui peut faire quoi, qui... Donc, c'est cette collaboration-là qui est bonne. Et il faut vraiment qu'on s'asseye pour qu'on se regarde dans les yeux et qu'on parle sincèrement.
Professor, Professor, um, he just raised an issue there, though um, Delphine also uh, did the same earlier on. He says uh, that um, in our communities, women play core roles, very important, in deciding how things are supposed to move. Uh, Delphine said earlier on that uh, they, you people are suffering from what you did not uh, start because you were never there to kickstart this and uh, you are not into politics. Do you think that women have been sidelined uh, for so long as far as uh, uh, the efforts uh, for a, a search for a solution to this is concerned? Have you even be, been sidelined? Uh, yes, I would say so because usually um the warlords on either side the state on its side and the and the and the fighters the Amba the ambazonia people it's usually men who start war and they believe that it is men who should finish a war but that is wrong because the greatest victims of war are women and coming together as southwest northwest women's task force we are putting a voice out there to say, hey, we are those on the ground. We are those who experience the worst forms of torture in relation to this war. The majority... Okay, um, let me get to Delphine, but just tell me when she's back so that she continues with what she's saying, um, Delphine. Uh, we have not had many uh, women association across uh, Cameroon come out uh, to publicly denounce what is happening uh, to women in the northwest and southwest regions. We've not heard much from the from the women associations. Mm, maybe I think maybe like uh, Mr. Emil. 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 Okay. Okay. Like okay, like he said, there's that fear factor. Mm -hmm. You know, there's that fear factor, but. I um, think I should be calling on all women, irrespective of your origin, irrespective of your color, like uh, Prof said, you know, we have to speak up. We have to stand up like one person, now more than ever before. We have to stand up like one person, you know, more than ever before, irrespective of, I mean, who you are, your color, your, your region, Oh, we have to stand up like one person and denounce all of these atrocities that are being committed. Yeah, but how do how you understand that uh, women association? We have uh, many women associations in Cameroon, in the north, in the south, in the in the Adamawa, in the littoral year. Why are they? Is it because they are afraid when even when they are uh, on this part of the country? Um, I think that first of all it will be because of one on the basis of their coming together of uh, forming an association you know there are some laws there are some things that bind and you know and rule these associations that you know may not permit them to 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 come out to to face or to, to decry certain things but i think that this crisis it has gone beyond just a how can I put it? Um, making declarations? Making declarations, you know. I think it is time the women come out, irrespective of, of, of your, 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 your origin, your affiliation, to come out to say, no, this is too much on women. Because it is affecting all of us. It is no matter where you are, no matter where you are, where you are located, or where you know, where you operate, it is affecting the woman. You know, because I was just, for example, like the case of, uh, is it Precious? A Tre few treasure, treasure, a few minutes earlier she was dancing, mm -hmm. and you could even see I felt really terrible. That look at this, she's dancing, and the men they are there, they touch touching her buttocks. Mm -hmm. That's violation. I even uh, when when I saw that video, I was, I said that's violation. Then the next thing I know, there's a picture of her dead. I'm like, wow. So who is doing this? And why are they doing it? You know? It, and they, it's like they take their time, they videotape it, and they put it on, on I mean, the, your social media. Public, wow. 
it is it is really really it's sad it's really sad so i think it is a time for women irrespective of because i know most of the time they'll say okay or because maybe it's a political thing every human being is a political being but now whether you are doing partisan politics or not that's where the difference comes in you know but we are political beings because you have a right to your opinion you have a right to 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 to, to certain things you have a right to vote you have a right to 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 to, to make your choice you know so that's being political you have a right to to discuss and you know argue mm -hmm. but now when there's a situation like this and you know you think that if you come out i don't think i think if all the women come out like one person this thing is going to stop the next minute. Not only the women, yeah. okay now uh, this thing is going to turn uh professor uh are you yeah. very very disappointed also because i've spoken with some women uh, from the northwest and southwest uh, region they are asking the questions why other women across uh cameroon are silent about what's happening yes um we must not just sit and say women are silent any woman can stand up for every woman mm. and we are trying to mobilize different women's groups across cameroon and out of cameroon we need to come together as women irrespective of affiliation to decry and denounce this kind of violence that is taking over our communities we need to stand together as women as women for peace we need to bring these warring factions to a dialogue table for negotiation this cannot Oop. definitely um it seems as if <laughs> the internet is programmed <laughs> to work for uh some seconds and then they, they cut um we uh Eli, you are a lone man in, uh, amongst uh, two women Nice. Um, the thing that women across uh, Cameroon are supposed to make their voice uh, to be heard on what is happening. Dans la continuité de Delphine, je voudrais lui faire comprendre que justement le problème qui se pose aujourd'hui c'est ce qu'on appelle l'indifférence. Parce qu'aujourd'hui on a l'impression, nous les francophones, nous avons l'impression que ça ne concerne que les anglophones. Oh, c'est un problème. Camerounais. À partir du moment où aujourd'hui il y a eu une bombe à Yaoundé, Mokolo, ça veut dire que la crise qui déjà Bali, Mouyoukwa, oui, ça arrive déjà à Yaoundé et à Douala. Il y a donc justement cette mobilisation générale des femmes qu'il faut mettre en place pour que toutes les femmes, pas seulement les femmes anglophones, que même les femmes francophones de Douala, Yaoundé, Konsamba, Edé, Yamaroua, Garoua, se lève un jour. Il faut qu'il y ait une journée où toutes les femmes vont se lever pour dire non. Trop c'est trop. Et de l'autre côté, les hommes devront aussi les accompagner hmm, dans cette... Parce qu'il est inadmissible. C'est vraiment... Ça fait mal de voir ce qu'on a vu là. Parce qu'une femme a décidé, c'est-à-dire, donc Delphine, qui est anglophone, ne doit plus causer avec moi, qui suis francophone. C'est pas ça se comprend. C'est-à-dire, à partir du moment où on verra que Delphine a causé avec Charles ou Elie, condamné à mort, il faut qu'on te tue, il faut qu'on te décapite. Donc, il y a donc, il y en a, il est donc question et urgent que toutes les femmes se lèvent et qu'elles se mettent debout, comme elles le font souvent le 8 mars, hein, la journée internationale de la femme, que, que les femmes se lèvent et disent non, les femmes subissent déjà assez ces massacres et trop, c'est trop. Et là, je suis tout à fait d'accord avec vous que la religion, la tribu, euh, le, le parti politique, euh, tout ça l'en met de côté. On est des êtres humains et c'est le cœur qui doit parler et on se lève et on dit non à ces autres choses et quand on a fini de dire non on demande maintenant à ceux qui sont dans le conflit de s'asseoir et de parler, mais au-delà de parler il faut que les responsabilités soient tirées, qu'on sache que non c'est notre pays ça me fait mal de ne plus arriver à Bamenda 
ça me fait mal de ne plus arriver à Balou, j'avais des amis, c'est difficile parce que tu te dis, tu es francophone, tu as peur, on peut te prendre à tout moment, on peut te dire oui, non, il faut que la paix revienne, il faut que la paix revienne. Il faut que la paix revienne. Ah, professeur, have women uh, been uh, abandoned to be used as uh, weapons of war, like you said earlier on by um, the instances uh, that are supposed to provide them with security, begin with me, with their communities? I didn't get that. I'm asking whether you feel that women have been abandoned to be used as uh, weapons of war uh, by the instances that uh, are supposed to provide them with security and protection. Um, yes, I w well, however, I wouldn't ex exactly say so. I know some uh, organizations are trying to mitigate all of this, but we do feel failed by the state of Cameroon because personally i speak for myself i don't know any specific strategies that have been put to protect women in these conflict uh, situations i do not know of any safe houses anywhere where battered women can run to or well we will say we have the law but when we run to the law we are still attacked because if you go to the police and report just how far is the police going to help you so this becomes very challenging and civil society organizations have been very helpful anyway in assisting women with these challenges. Okay, um, uh, but you think that international organizations have done uh, enough to educate no. people, okay? No. I'm talking about the, the production the, of the, women, yes. The demands are so wide. You, you have an intervention that targets 200, 400 women in a million or 2 million or 8 million. The population of the Northwest, Southwest is estimated at over 5 million people with over 52%. Okay, uh, Delphine, um, uh, do you people think, um, feel abandoned or without uh, security for your safety in the midst of the war mm, yes i will say so because the perpetrators are the men mm -hmm. <laughs> the men are the perpetrators mm -hmm. so we have been abandoned Nous avons aussi les femmes madame. we have been abandoned <laughs> the perpetrators are the men and if you look critically i mean you talked a while ago about uh, international organizations we should first of all, you know, solve our problems. We should look I think we, 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 should we should look we should, from within mm -hmm. first. It should start with the uh, local uh, yes. solutions. Yeah. Yes, local solutions. Mm -hmm. Because we leave these atrocities. We've bore the, we bear the brunt. And we cannot go now and start, you know, calling on someone from outside to come and want to solve our prob in-house problem. You know, unless the men are telling us they really don't want to solve this problem, then we should start seeking now for outside solutions. Mm -hmm. But if not, let's solve our problem from within. Let's look for solution from within because the solution can only come from within us. Yes, but let's look at uh, the protection uh, for women in the crisis uh, regions. What do you think should be done to provide a greater security for uh, you people? the worrying factors both the state and the non-state armed groups they should no, no put down their weapons and dialogue they should put down their weapons and come to the table for dialogue mm -hmm. it's not possible to it's not possible to get to the same level the army and the secessionists it's not the same thing euh, les sécessionnistes doivent eux déposer les armes et non l'armée dans un état l'armée a pour rôle de vous protéger de me protéger de protéger léonard si vous mettez l'armée et ces gens au même niveau la république est foutue 
ils feront tout ce qu'ils veulent. Oui, mais, mais ma question est, yes, the, okay, you say they are not at the same level, but my question to her is, uh, how do they provide them with security? Euh, euh, la, 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 justement, le rôle de l'armée, c'est justement de protéger ces femmes. Mais, vous savez, euh, euh, la protection des populations n'est pas très facile à partir du moment où, dans la population, c'est nous-mêmes qui le faisons. Il me, il me, il, c est, c est, pour moi, c'est facile de tuer Delphine. Ça, ça se comprend. C'est-à-dire, avec toute la force que l'on a pas à avoir pour me protéger, mais c'est facile pour moi de tuer Delphine à partir du moment où Delphine, moi, nous sommes voisins. Si Delphine est ma voisine et que je connais son champ, je connais où elle va à l'école, je connais où ses enfants vont, c'est facile pour moi de la tuer. Alors, c'est pour ça qu'on demande aux populations de collaborer dans l'information. C'est-à-dire, donner l'information quand il faut, donner l'information. Et ça, il dit ça fait mal. C'est vrai que les populations se sentent abandonnées. Parce que quand on tue une femme lundi, on tue une autre mardi, on décapite une autre le troisième jour, les populations ont l'impression que l'armée ne les protège pas. Ça, ça se comprend. Les populations ont l'impression oh l'armée essaie de faire ce qu'elle a à faire. C'est It's not easy. Et pour imaginer encore que peut-être les causes de, 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 de la abattue, c'est que parce que ils sont la, la, en relation justement, avec, justement, avec le, ça fait peur. Le, le, même si Delphine veut dire à, même si, je prends l'exemple, même si Delphine a envie de dire ici, c'est pas bon, celui-ci fait, elle aura peur parce que on va dire Delphine est une traîtresse. Et on va te mettre au tribunal, on va la déranger toute la nuit et le lendemain on va couper sa tête. Voilà le réel problème. Professeur, how do we get how do we get uh, women uh, protected in these uh, regions, given the stakes? Um, that's a tough one. But if civil society organizations and other governmental and international non-governmental institutions develop safe houses, that can contribute to protecting women. What uh, the Southwest Northwest Women's Task Force, for example, is doing is enhancing education on how women can protect themselves and strive to be non-partisan and non-political by advocating for peace, for dialogue, and cohesive communities where, living, where we live together and protect each other without women being a target to these armed uh, um, groups. Yeah, which means that a lot of education is supposed to uh, be undertaken. How do you educate the women? And uh, possibly those who are uh, targeting uh, you people. <laughs> uh, we have issues with that line today. Now, uh, the Southwest uh, Northwest Women Task Force, uh, two years ago, you organized uh, a campaign, a lamentation campaign that was uh, done in Boya and Bamenda. That's Is correct. this not the time for even a, a bigger campaign? We have that in the pipeline. Okay. This work, that, like I told you, mm. that we are trying to reach out to this. Different family. groups to. Okay, go on, go on. It takes to protect women mm. because. If women are not seen as targets, if women are not tapped as bloodlets in their day-to-day -day activities, then they can be protected. It's enough for a woman to go to market on a country Sunday to be a victim. Yet, we need to eat. We need to feed the families. How can we feed the families when we stay at home, when we are the ones who are expected to feed the families? So... We are educating everybody, including on such a platform like we have now, that we are for a peaceful resolution of the crisis through negotiated talks between the armed, um, the conflict parties. Okay. Yes. We were talking about um, a possible uh, lamentation, another lamentation uh, campaign, uh, which you say is in the pipeline? Yes, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. yes. I think this is when uh, we are, like the uh, prof said a while ago, we are mobilizing every other, I mean, women's associations, every other gr women's groups that we should come out and, you know, stand out like one person so that we make sure that we 
put an end we make sure that there should be a peaceful resolution and that we should not be targets mm. we should not be targets women should not be targets yeah but this the south west northwest uh, women task force has uh, often been uh, at, uh, attached to the government or um accused of having received money from the government to do what they are doing that's correct you know it's i think it's not even too long ago you can see even some of those pictures, <laughs> my picture is there mm -hmm. and um brett will say it and will still say it mm. we are non-partisan we are not linked or collecting money from either Mm -hmm. of, of the, the parties camp, of mm -hmm. the parties we are a coalition of women organizations civil society organizations grassroots women who have come together to make sure that we raise our voices and to call on the warring parties and factions that there must be a peaceful resolution of this conflict through dialogue with all these accusations, you succeed to live in Bali, and uh, people don't uh, suspect that, okay? Well, <laughs> well I, I mean, even like uh, three weeks ago, I received a phone call from an unknown number. Oh, we followed a black leg, and you went and entered your compound, you are keeping a black leg. Oh, this is all blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who are you? Who are you? Do you think you are fighting this fight more than any other person? Say, I'm, I'm general, whatever. I didn't even remember the name. And I just had to talk to him on the phone. And I told him, I said, So, oh, the next time we are going, I was in Yaoundé, the next time you come to Bali, we're going to, I said, I'm coming to Bali tomorrow. I mean, tonight, I'm traveling tonight. So make sure you arrest me. And by the time you arrest all, everybody, you will then live with, with trees and grasses. Nonsense. Do you think you, you, are, you are a super, you are not a superhuman being? You are not a superhuman being. Do you think that this thing is affecting you more than any other person? It's affecting all the women more. As, I mean, after I you know, raised my voice to this guy on the phone, he was claiming to be a general. Or that general, whether from wherever, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, you know, you are a mother of everybody. You are a mother of all children. I said, no, if you knew I was a mother of every children, of every child, you would not call me to threaten me. You would not call me to threaten me. I said, I said, who is even the, I said, who is, who do you call a black leg? Who do you call a black leg? I said, okay, for that reason, if you think that there's a black leg as you claim, I want to see that black leg because I'll be in Bali. I'm traveling back tonight. I'll be in Bali the following morning. Catch that black leg and bring to me. <laughs> Don't kill the black leg. Bring the black leg to me. Let me, because I myself, I'm sick and tired of this black leg issue. Uh, so I think women, they have to, I mean, they have to, they have to be bold. Mm. They have to be bold. You know, this is true. It is devastating when you see, you know, some of these, you know, these images. It's really devastating. But I think that we need to do more. Okay. We need to come out. We need to do more. Yes. than just social media campaigns. We need to do more. We really need to come out again more and more mm -hmm. to make sure that they know that this is our stand um the, the women are, are, are mobilizing elisa and you're loving j'ai beaucoup apprécié vous voyez c'est l'attitude qu'il faut avoir contre ces gens quand on l'a appelé on l'a menacé et le fait de parler à cette monsieur à cette personne et de lui dire avec un ton autoritaire que hey, tu n'es pas un super homme et la personne a adoucit sa voix pour lui dire mais tu es la maman et tout voilà c'est quand les gens comme elle une personne deux trois quatre cinq si elle avait copié du genre on m'a appelé je tremble elle prend l'argent hein, pour qu'on appelle le ransom voilà elle prend l'argent elle donne elle donne ça leur donne la, 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 la force de croire qu'ils ont raison ce qu'ils font oh si comme elle a parlé comme elle a parlé là, les autres ont parlé c'est comme ça que avec les postes positifs, ils vont se retrouver petits, ils vont abandonner petit à petit leurs armes. Donc, cette dame a beaucoup de courage qu'il faut vraiment apprécier. Parce que quand quelqu'un t'appelle et dit qu'il est le général, la première chose, tu commences à, à trembler. Mais elle, elle a été courageuse. Elle a dit non, voilà, 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 je serai à Bali demain, 
matin, tomorrow morning. Non, il est venu me tuer. Non, voilà l'attitude qu'il va avoir Léonard. Face à, face à l'horreur, face au diable, face à, à, à ce qu'elle noie, il faut proposer l'amour, le cœur, le sourire. Et elle a été courageuse. C'est cette attitude qu'il va avoir. Et c'est pourquoi, quand vous allez lancer votre grande cérémonie, hein, quand les femmes vont se lever, dites-nous, nous aussi, les hommes, on doit vous accompagner. On doit Thank vous accompagner. Nous, les francophones, c'est surtout nous, les francophones, qui croyons que, comme il y a dix régions, comme il n'y a que deux régions anglophones, ça ne nous concerne pas. Non. C'est quand nous, les anglophones, les francophones, nous allons aussi nous lever, comme vous, pour vous accompagner, ça va baisser. Donc, quand vous allez le faire, petit Aluna, qui passe l'âge de diffusion, nous, on va mettre dans les réseaux sociaux, dans les médias, on va vous accompagner. C'est clair. Professor, um, how do you cope with the constant accusations that um, you people are sponsored from uh, by the government? Well, the task force stands for humanity. Mm -hmm. They stand for the truth. They stand for justice. And we believe that peace will follow. When a truth is spoken against anybody they feel uncomfortable and think you are the enemy but we believe that only the truth shall set us free the moment we recognize the things that we are doing that are not right and focus on the problem we are going to move forward because we advocate for a ceasefire we advocate for dialogue and negotiation we advocate that women should not be made victims of this war we are targeted as working with the government. They feel that when we carry out activities and are not attacked, as they claim, it is wrong. I must say that we have been attacked individually. We don't go saying it to the world that we have been attacked from all angles, from different angles. So they believe that we are working for the government, which is not true. We stand for truth. We stand for justice, we stand for humanity, we stand for a ceasefire, and we stand for a negotiated dialogue such that peace can reign. We are against the smoking guns. When we say we are against the smoking guns, it becomes problematic because some people believe that this conflict is going to end only with guns. Guns do not speak. Human beings speak. Guns do not solve problems. Human beings solve problems problems and that is what we are advocating for that is what you are advocating for i asked uh, delphine earlier whether this was not a time to organize even a bigger um lamentation campaign given the stakes uh, which are presenting themselves to be uh, very high well uh for the short term we have we are in the process currently organizing a large media campaign which is easier for people from across the world to join us on board and we will be sharing the hashtag and the, the link to this media campaign because if we organize just a lamentation campaign where we sit down we think we will not reach all the stakeholders we think that we need to tag and tweet all the different parties involved from the local to Okay, um, now I want, I want, when she's, when she's back, please let me know, but now what, uh, I want all you to paint a picture of what women have been doing since uh, the start of uh, this war on both sides. What have you been doing? We as the... We have two, we have two, we have two parties to the war. And uh, you say you did not declare the war, but you are taking the highest, um, the highest blue okay. from from it. And um, but what is it that you are doing as women to force the hands of both parties to do what you want? We have been calling. I mean, from our lamentation campaign, that mm -hmm. the sit down lamentations that we we organized, we do a lot of um, social media campaigns. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> we had a press conference in, 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 in Yaoundé where we issued a statement and uh, during the pre-dialogue uh, 
negotiation or pre-dialogue uh, meetings we were part of the team and we we, 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 we gave our proposals to, to, the, to the Prime Minister and Head of Government on what we as women, we think, should be the solution and the way forward to bring an end to this crisis. So we have been doing a lot, you know, a lot of social media campaigns, a lot of, you know, physical, like the lamentation, the press conference, the, the um, pre-consultative talks and you know eventually even squeezing squeezing our way to the table to the to the to the to the dialogue you know uh, the grand national dialogue that was organized and we keep on you know despite the threat despite I mean we face threats every day it's just just like Prof said it's that we will not come out to start saying oh this one this one or that one but we face threats every day. I mean, there are even people who, I mean, uh, a couple of, last month, when we went, uh, during this outbreak of COVID, we went, my uh, our organization, when we did a, a, a sensitization and, you know, and uh, distribution of, 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 of kits to, 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 to the population, in some in some uh, in Mezam, in Bali and you know to those living with disabilities and people were like how just like Prophet people were like how do you go into this I mean tread these grounds and you come out on touch they started oh you are this they start saying oh Kumo Fefet they are this they are Amba and we're like wait a minute does that mean that anything that I mean does that mean that everybody has to like to disappear from this village because there's a crisis. No. We go, I mean, there are people in need. And believe me, the population that we saw in Bali, the population that is in Bali, I mean, somebody out there, somebody else will not even imagine that population. Yeah, um, you are saying that uh, the picture that is given out there is different from the reality on ground. It is, there are times it is grossly exaggerated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Their time is is grossly exaggerated. I mean, it's like oh, they're like no human being living there anymore. I live there. Mm. I do live there. So, but the night, the moment is, the moment you can live, you live there successfully. They start uh, wondering, ah, is she not? Is she not a? Uh, so we are suspected. We are suspected. On okay, both sides, exactly. The, the, the other side exactly. Will say, okay, the other side okay. will say, okay, but how come she goes and comes out mm. and, or she goes and does things without being attacked? You know? Mm. But like I say, these are human beings, both the military, mm -hmm. the non states, armed groups. They are human beings. They are our children. They are our husbands. These are children we live with in the community before the crisis. So why is it that because of the crisis, somebody has just suddenly become a monster that you, you cannot talk with the person or you cannot face the person head on? Okay, um, Elisa, est-ce que um, l'État et les autres instances doivent aussi se mobiliser à protéger mieux les femmes dans ces régions? En ce, en ce moment, le ce n'est plus une affaire de, de femmes. Euh, c'est une affaire d'humanité, d'humanisme. C'est-à-dire, toute personne qui a un cœur, toute personne qui est normale, doit se lever et dire non. Si quelqu'un a vu cette vidéo, c'est 23 secondes, hein? si quelqu'un a vu cette vidéo du début à la fin, sans ce qu'il est très fort, parce que cette vidéo faisait mal, ça faisait perdre l'appétit, ça faisait perdre le sommeil. Quand tu voyais comment cette femme criait. Et quand tu te rends compte que cette femme a des enfants qu'elle a laissés, c'est ça qui fait encore C'est ça qui fait encore plus mal. Donc en ce moment, tout le monde doit être mobilisé dans ce que Delphine et ses amis veulent faire. Et je suis, je dis, je suis tout à fait entièrement avec vous. Dans le sens de votre mobilisation, la communication et tout, nous allons, il le faut. C'est nous, nous les francophones, nous devons être les premiers devant. Et l'État est le premier à vous soutenir. J'ai su tout à l'heure, Léonard disait que est-ce que l'État. Non, mais 
le mouvement qu'elles ont là, si l'État leur donne l'argent, elles doivent le prendre. Parce que, justement, l'argent qu'on leur donne, ce n'est pas qu'elles sont devenues des qu trahisses. Non, c'est parce que elles ont besoin d'argent, peut-être pour faire des t-shirts. Mais vous devez cotiser. Que dites vous Que dites même moi Je dois dire, bon, Delphine, voilà ma contribution. Au-delà d'être financier, je dois même moi, présentement, je dois être là le jour qu'elles vont manifester. Donc, c'est quelque chose qui concerne tout le monde. La société civile, les ONG, l'État, euh, les entreprises, les habitants, les francophones, les anglophones, les bas les, les bas. Tout le monde doit se lever ce jour-là pour soutenir ses mamans, nos soeurs, nos femmes. Pour que quand Delphine dit que le matin, elle doit aller au champ, que l'ambaboy ne l'arrête pas au champ parce qu'elle a dit qu'elle va aller au champ prendre le manioc qui va nourrir sa famille. Non, il faut que ça s'arrête. Donc, faut, faut, tout le monde doit se lever. Il faut que ça s'arrête. Uh, professor, are you also engaging international organizations? It is true. Uh, Delphine says, it's okay, we should seek uh, solutions out here. But you are out there in the United States. Are you uh, engaging some of these international um, organizations to put pressure for greater protection of uh, women living in the southwest and northwest regions? Yes. Um we engage uh, Cameroonian organizations in the diaspora and we engage non-Cameroonian organizations in the diaspora. If we notice yesterday, um, Karen Bass did make a tweet on the happenings on the ground and the, and the focus was on the abuse of women. The Human Rights Watch also is on it. So a good, the British government also is on it. So a good number of organizations are watching the increased violence against women on the ground, which means that we are doing some good mobilization, not just the Southwest, Northwest Women's Task Force, but women's groups across the board. If we do not bring this to the public eye to especially human rights organizations and other international organizations that can have leverage on the crisis I don't think that we will go much far. That is why we are engaging on a Twitter campaign starting next week I'm taking advantage of this platform to talk about it to engage many more organizations to interfere in this ongoing crisis to mitigate if not eradicate the violence on the populations and especially on women and girls who are the primary victims. We notice the numbers of IDPs and refugees, the highest percentage of them, like I said before, are women. Okay, uh, most of them are women, but are you also engaging other Cameroonian organizations? I'm, I'm talking about women organizations who before now have not been working with the Northwest Southwest uh, Women Task Force. Yes, there are many locally and internationally. I can name uh, a handful. Locally, we have uh, Kaopem, we ha which is the Cameroon Women for Peace Network, I think. We have the Southwest. South Southwest Women's Peace and Development Organization. We have the Southern Cameroonian Women's League. We have the Southern Cameroonian European Women's League and many more that are engaged on the rights of women on the ground, especially in conflict situations. So a lot of these movements were acting independently. Now we are working on concerted efforts. We realize that as individual organizations, it is not going to work. So we are now coming together as different women's organizations to work together so that we can advance this cause, which is very dear to our hearts, which is killing our sisters and our children. What happens if after the tweeting and social media campaign, nothing happens? Are you, are you, are you, moving, are you moving to Yaoundé as women? We do not expect the tweeting session to solve the crisis. It is a process. Mm -hmm. And we have moved to Yaoundé before and we will move to Yaoundé again. Moving to Yaoundé physically and virtually is our objective because no matter what we do, if we do not engage Yaoundé to take action, then we cannot succeed because dialogue means two parties. We cannot dialogue with ourselves. We cannot dialogue with the international community. We must dialogue and end the crisis with Yaoundé. Okay. If Yaoundé does not open up for dialogue, we cannot succeed. 
if you look at armed uh, crisis or self-determination issues across the world, you realize that the the state party must be engaged with the the conflict party for there to be peace. There must be a peace agreement between the state and those who are rebelling against the state. So without that, we cannot succeed. So Yaoundé is our ultimate de uh, de um, destination. Our primary objective is to get the government of Cameroon to speak with these people. Our ultimate objective is to attain a situation where there is dialogue between these two people and negotiation and therefore a peace agreement such that there is a ceasefire and this conflict ends. Are you also um, planning to make moves to the the, 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 the the towns hosting the lead, the separatist leaders like you are targeting Yaoundé? We already live in the towns and we already work with them. So are when you say uh, moving, it, okay, it you, becomes you, difficult. <laughs> you are already engaging with them? Yes. Okay. On a non-formal basis. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Delphine, we are talking about the protection of uh, women. You live in Bali. That is at the heart of what is happening in the Northwest uh, region. What are you telling the women themselves, uh, basically, on how to protect themselves? Um, I will first of all say we should act first of all like one person mm -hmm. and talk, talk to these warring factions be it because we have relations both in, in the, military the military and in, in the state yeah and in the non-state armed group mm -hmm. so what i will put out to them is that we should come out like one person and talk to them that these guns cutlasses weapons knives will not solve this problem mm -hmm. they have to lay these things down and talk and discuss mm -hmm. and come to a consensus an agreement how to solve this you know so we can get out of this shit yes but while the guns while you are you are engaging like professor is saying that they will they will, they will engage yaoundi and the separatist uh, leaders the women needs to be alive so that finally when this thing is over they are leaving are you not also talking to them to stay away from possibilities of uh, getting themselves involved in in conflict with both factions sure of course because in most of our you know like humanitarian actors we always you know we practice what we call the do no harm principle you know mm. so we we'll always like avoid avoid situations in which you will find yourself you know don't endanger yourself mm. in as much as you you are I mean, you you are you're, you're longing or you for your quest for peace, but don't endanger yourself. Don't expose yourself. You know, don't don't go beyond. You know, to, to certain limits. You have to stay on your lane. You have to be neutral. You have to be, you know, you know, protect yourself first. So that is what we preach out to them. You preach, and that you preach peace to them, and that they should. I mean, preach peace too to the others. Yeah, uh, what is the situation of a typical woman who lives in the southwest and the northwest region since you live with them? What are those uh, burden that they live with? The burden we live with, um, especially, I would say, me, since, like in Bali, mm -hmm. we live with this burden of gunshots, like we have sporadic gunshots. There are times you don't. You don't even know from you know from where it's coming or from who. I mean, it has even gotten to a point where even our children they can differentiate the gunshot coming from the state and group and the one coming from the non-state and group. Mm -hmm. You know, it has gotten to a point where we live. I mean, like during the, in in Bali. Let me give you a typical example. Mm -hmm. I will not go to show you when you if you come, you are a stranger and you don't have the telephone number or maybe you 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 don't get in contact with the person you are coming to me and you don't know where the person is you may not find the person in because, Bali? yeah because statistics have shown that there are times they come at gunpoint 
they take you to go show your neighbor's house and the neighbor is is is, is killed so with there's this there's this there's this um um we live we live in in real um, in real fear and uncertainty mm -hmm. fear and uncertainty our children they are traumatized they are traumatized they are the ones who are not would they even have anywhere to go to some of them who have even gone or, or like escaped to the other regions you know they are just so uncomfortable you can hear oh no because i mean you are not in your zone you can imagine you are in your in your in your compound you have your vegetable farm in your backside you will harvest your vegetable your huckleberry to make your fufu and jama jama i'm sorry you know but now you find yourself in yaoundé you find yourself in Douala, where you have to maybe twist and you know you are squeezing maybe with a family member or whether with a friend or whether with who it is just so uncomfortable and disturbing a uh, a couple of weeks ago when we we're doing the the the, the 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 campaign COVID campaign and social cohesion mm -hmm. in littoral i was in i mean in the neighborhood of bonaberry mm -hmm. i was in fact i came back with i mean a bur more burden in me than and i could not even imagine mm -hmm. yes i could never even have imagined i looked at children that i used to who used to run around the compound they would be happy with their pieces of roast cocoyam in their hands and they are running and, and they are just so happy you saw them they were all emaciated you saw the women they were all i was like god what 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 is happening mm -hmm. what is happening but now what do we do what do we do so we are calling and saying that this thing has to end and i thank you very much charles that you say you're going to support us that everybody from every region because it's not only us feeling the burden oh, yes. of course. people even mm -hmm. they're saying oh, no but the is too far the 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 no no refugees internally oh. displaced Refugees is where you... No, they déplacer interne. Yeah, déplacer interne. Oh, ça est devenu... Tu parles même au marché, et les choses ont devenu plus chères, et aussi sont partis par tata. It is affecting all the other regions. Yes. So there's no reason why mm, all of them should not come out to really support us too. Okay, uh, Elisa, uh, I want to get your appreciation of uh, the way the international community has uh, been looking at uh, the crisis happening out here in uh, Cameroon? I have two problems with international community. Mm -hmm. Two problems. The uh, mm -hmm. first problem is the community international who doesn't play the franc jeu. Okay. There is a community international that does like that. There is a community international that is what happens in Cameroon. Because I don't understand, I don't understand how it happens une heure après la vidéo qui montre comment cette femme a été massacrée qu'un Camerounais qui se trouve à, à Norvège ou à Londres ou à Washington dise que il est content de ce qui s'est passé parce que c'était une traîtresse une, elle, 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 elle partisait cause avec les militaires et ces gens-là sont dans ces pays-là. Ces pays-là, ils, ils sont là-bas ensemble. Ils, ils vivent bien là-bas. Leurs enfants vont à l'école. Ils, ils sont à l'aise. Ils, ils montrent comment leurs enfants ont les diplômes. C'est qu'on appelle chez vous les graduations. Ils nous, ils nous montrent ça. C'est-à-dire comment leurs enfants prennent les diplômes dans les universités américaines, euh, norvégiennes, euh, irlandaises et tout. Mais ils empêchent à nos enfants ici d'aller à l'école. Donc, voilà le premier problème que j'ai contre cette communauté internationale-là qui protège ceux qui financent ce qui se passe à Bali, à, à, à Garbou, à Batibo, à Santé et tout. Vous avez une autre communauté internationale qui veut que la paix revienne. Vous avez cette communauté internationale-là qui veut que tout redevienne normal. C'est dans cette communauté internationale-là qu'il faut apprécier et avec qui il faut travailler pour que les choses aillent normalement. Donc l'appréciation que moi j'ai la communauté internationale, c'est que comme 
Delphine disait, c'est à l'intérieur qu'il faut d'abord lancer la première solution. Exactement. C'est entre nous. Il faut que Delphine s'asseye. Il faut que Léonard s'asseye. Il faut que le professeur euh, Lilian, Lilian mmh. s'asseye. Il faut que je m'asseye. Il faut que celui qui avait l'arme, qui a fait tôt, tôt, hier, prenne, prenne l'arme de pause et vienne s'asseoir. Il faut que le militaire dise maintenant que, ok, on s'assoit et on cause. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut On essaie de parler et on avance. La communauté internationale vient après, vient nous appuyer après, quand on a fini entre nous de trouver les solutions. Euh, la communauté internationale n'a pas trouvé une solution plus que vous-même. Elle va même vous trouver une solution à votre place. Elle va trouver une solution qui va l'arranger, elle. Parce qu'elle sait que à Bouya, à Bakassi, à le pétrole, et à l'or, il y a ceci. Donc la communauté internationale viendra vous arranger votre problème dans ses intérêts à elle, qui est la communauté internationale. Oh, les solutions, c'est vous, c'est nous, nous. Yes, and, and mind you, yes. you know, most of them, if you even look at the statements that they, 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 they send out, they say the perpetrators should be brought to, according to the Cameroonian law, ah. <laughs> which means they will not come to apply their laws here. They have their own laws governing them, but we have the laws governing us. So, we should mm -hmm. not count too much, you know, on the international community. But I think it has to first of all begin with us our what we have i mean unless we cannot really agree but i would say maybe we need them like say somebody like um a mediator but i don't know whether i've got to that level of getting a mediator yet but if it is really impossible for us to talk mm -hmm. then maybe that's when we we'll start getting okay let's get somebody from outside who can come now and stand and say okay i can stand now like you know like a referee mm -hmm. to arbitrate mm -hmm. not yes. between non, mais more than si il y a la guerre entre deux frères si, si, si tu es un bon sang le n'a peut être un bon habitant parce qu'il est camerounais comme il nous comprend non, mais si, 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 if, a... if, if I'm not comfortable that le n'a peut être un bon habitant professor professor, yes. professor uh, Lilian uh, your, your, your stance on uh, the, the international community what uh, game they are playing many of them have uh, made I've reacted to what is happening. Uh, some people say enough with uh, the statements and uh, that uh, they want action. I am, I am going to speak from a perspective of precedence. Okay. I've read some comments on the Facebook page where people say we are at war. It's going to take at least ten years. Uh, people should stop saying this or saying that because uh, the Southwest, Northwest women are sponsored by the state. Let me bring this. I'm going to take two cases. One is um, South Sudan and the other one is Somalia. Cases we can both learn from. In South Sudan, the war went on for long. South Sudan had two favoring favorable aspects which we too have in Cameroon. The two favorable aspects were they had resources, oil in particular, and they had a state government that they could negotiate with, which was the government of Sudan. We have the same. We have resources in the southern Cameroon and we have the state of Cameroon we could negotiate with. But what we fail to see as Cameroonians that makes us different from South Sudan is that South Sudan at least had a stable leadership with which the government of Sudan could speak with. We do not have that leadership. Our leadership is fragmented, it is fractured, and it is shooting itself on the leg. We need to solve that leadership. Secondly, we are eating ourselves we are killing ourselves instead of having a dialogue we negotiate for us to seek for ways of talking people believe it is the guns that are going to bring people to the table fair enough if you think that the war will bring people to the table we are on our fourth year people are predicting 10 years are these people so inhuman that they want for the community to suffer for 10 years, I don't think that is the stance of snot. 
the stance of not is that we have a dialogue let's talk peace we take the case of uh, somalia somaliland sorry even though they have not yet had independence they have a stable government they have a democracy within themselves they have peace they have security they have stability can we say the same of southern cameroons that we have a democracy in southern cameroons we have security we have stability no we cannot say that so let us stop dreaming that killing ourselves is going to lead us to dialogue it will not lead us to dialogue if we do not clean ourselves nobody will clean that house for us we need to clean our house and in cleaning our house is not in killing our women and our children this gets us really angry and even if you must do it must you humiliate it death killing is not acceptable in any form talk less of when you humiliate that woman you dance with her you humiliate her you film her before you kill her drugs have come into this thing and i don't think this is the right thing we need to be looking for ways of solving this problem the international community cannot do it for us if we are doing what we are doing to ourselves i think embarking on advocacy and lobbying should be the way forward rather than social media rather than insulting each other rather than saying that it's not the, the it's not is a government uh, uh, organization we are standing here for humanity for peace for justice for truth for non-violence we are against the smoking guns so let us stop thinking that war is the way forward we we, we are advocating for talk and not blood our streets have been bloody enough. Aren't we tired of seeing the blood? I'm waiting for one person to say that they were not pained by what happened yesterday. I read, I read what the different uh, uh, um, organizations said. That no, we are not the ones responsible. We decried this, but the government of Cameroon is responsible. Fine. Don't go killing people on the streets let the soldiers kill each other at war not the civilians on the streets okay um Thank you. doctor but um uh, are you uh, you've 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 read uh, the the statement from the the u.s uh, from uh, the uk and other uh, international organizations are you comfortable with their positions because this has been the same position they've taken since at the beginning no. of this definitely i am not comfortable with the position we continue to advocate for them to come and intervene for a negotiated dialogue mm -hmm. initially we heard the swiss were coming for that and we were very very hopeful we don't know what is happening the crisis in cameroon are a neglected crisis mm -hmm. we are still to to, to decipher or dissect why it is a, uh, uh, um, a forgotten crisis. What we need to be doing now is meet these people and convince them and lobby with them for them to interfere and intervene. But the government of Cameroon also says that they are a sovereign state and therefore do not require assistance. If the government of Cameroon does not open up to dialogue with a mediator it cannot happen if the african union does not come in the united nations cannot come in so there are different levels that we need to attain for this to happen so what are we doing in regard to this lobbying for these people to come and contribute to the mediation of the crisis are we only sitting on facebook and insulting these organizations for not doing it or are we having a dialogue with these organizations convincing them as to why it is necessary for this to happen if we continue to kill each other do we think these organizations are coming to tell us hey stop killing yourselves no let us focus our energy on dialoguing advocating and lobbying these organizations and even the, the state of cameroon for that dialogue those are my thoughts. Okay, those are your thoughts. Um, Daphne, she, professor, says, uh, not once uh, advocacy. How do you 
get that done practically. You are living in Cameroon. I know Madame Saleh is in Cameroon and, it's, and a host of others. How are you going to uh, push both sides to, to, to get to table? Um, just like uh, she, she said a while ago, we'll be starting next week again. We'll continue not even starting. Yeah, but you are we'll going to do that on social media. Yes, that is like a starting point again of this, I mean, this level. Mm -hmm. Because like we can say this is another level of 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 the crisis another level now because now women now have now been there you know so we'll be starting next week with the social media and from there we'll continue and we'll take it to, we have to take it we'll take it to the end and i'm grateful um charles here says they are ready and willing to join us so so we are starting next week C est, c est, c est okay, um, let me take a few uh, messages. Uh, hello, Mr. Le, good evening to you all in the studio. I'm writing with tears running down my cheek when I watch the videos uh, that circulated on social media on uh, how women are killed by this, uh, this separatist. I wonder if uh, this, uh, they think before the act uh, or if someone is accused of being a black leg as they claim what evidence do they have against an accused? Uh, in fact, it's a curse on those uh, guys who committed such acts. Um, uh, such act. It's Cyprian writing from Limbe. Good evening to you, uh, Cyprian from uh, Limbe. Uh, this one, Cynthia writing from Bamenda, says that uh, women are neither. Hello, I'm Cynthia from <coughs> from Bamenda. Women should be educated on life-saving skills in coming suit NGO in Bermuda. There are safe spaces for women and girls where gender-based violence cases are referred. Women should be assisted with skills which will enable them to be economically secured. Women should be educated on self-esteem. Women are neither the target nor the object. We are currently in a mass campaign aimed at raising 10,000 voices against violence on civ civilians. I don't know whether Yep. This is part of your agenda, or this is some other. Mm, no, okay. Hello, Cynthia. Please um, just share with us, share with us uh, what project you have for women, and uh, mm -hmm. we are going to help you. Uh, I don't know, make it known to the public. Good evening, Zive is writing from Kumba. The government is responsible for those acts. They want uh, the international body to attack uh, the fighters, <coughs> terrorists, and uh, let the women. Uh, on Japan, a press for justice, uh, peace is the product of uh, justice. Okay, uh, greetings to the panelists. Thanks for coming up with this issue. To me, those women brought uh, the issue on themselves somehow. The act is more than human and barbaric, but all women in these regions know that dating any of the factions is equated to death. In fact, one was buried alive in Kumba. So, my advice to all. Of females is for them to know that it is dead dating any camp and with this knowledge make a choice. Uh, Jones is writing from Kumba. Um, this is uh, do you do you understand what Jones is saying from Kumba? That you should neither uh, date an amber boy or the military. Is, <laughs> women have feelings Jones, now. Jones. Jo jo Jones from Kumba. Mm. Women have feelings just like men mm -hmm. and they have a right to express their feelings. And when I'm expressing my my sexual feelings, does it really matter whether you are an amber or you are a state? I think those are some of the things that we really we we, we, we cannot control. They are our feelings and they are our rights. We have a right too. We have a right too. We have a right too. Okay. So I don't think that that this should even be an issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. Any man born of a woman will never support what happened in Moyuka. Let the other Amber Boys uh, search for those who did uh, the job. Ngong Ernest is writing uh, from Kumba. Um, vous avez suivi uh, le professeur et c'est un défi. Oui. Oh, j'ai beaucoup suivi. Et c est, c est, c est, ce que je, je veux dire à Delphine, c'est qu'elle soit courageuse. Mm -hmm. Vous savez. Le problème actuellement dans la zone, c'est que ceux qui ont des initiatives, j'ai vu, il y a une téléspectatrice qui a dit que elle, est, 
elle, elle prévoit faire quelque chose. Donc, le plus important étant que pour que ça ait un impact, il faut que toutes les initiatives soient euh, regroupées. Je pourrais par exemple dire à, à Léonard de mettre la dame de Mamenda en contact avec Delphine pour qu'ensemble qu'elle fasse quelque chose de grandiose. Vous savez, c'est les actions isolées n'ont pas un impact. C'est-à-dire, si trois femmes se lèvent à Bamenda, mm -hmm. trois se lèvent, ça n'a pas un impact. Mm -hmm. Donc, il faudrait que toutes ces femmes-là s'accordent mm -hmm. et que plusieurs personnes se lèvent mm -hmm. ce jour-là. Ça aura un impact et qu'avec les, les francophones, les hommes qui vont aussi se lever, vous verrez que beaucoup de choses vont se passer et les amabos, ils vont beaucoup reculer. Okay, the lady in question said that each time she goes to the army camp to request the release of her detained brother, they are always asking for love making. Is that not a war crime? Mr. Nembo is writing from Mutengen. Uh, good evening to you, uh, Mr. Nembo. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu. Is David from Boya? I love the program, but for this now the signal isn't clear. We can't get what the panel is saying. Um, as I announced earlier on, our frequency has moved. We have moved to uh, frequency 12,333, uh, polarity 30,000. Please, uh, we have moved frequency. We are now on uh, 12,333, and uh, polarity uh, rate, um, or symbol rate, symbol rate is 30,000. Now, uh, Delphine, definitely uh, what is um, the best, the way forward, what should women be doing now to, because you want a definite end to what is happening, what should sure. women do now? What women should do now is to, to come out and rise up like one person to say no and call on both parties to come to table and discuss and dialogue so that we bring meaningful and sustainable peace mm -hmm. to our region and to the country as a well. whole. You think uh, the women can do it? The women can. Mm -hmm. The women can. The women can. The women can. Why not? Will it be easy to mobilize women in, uh, say, a, a community like Bali, where you live? Of course. Why not? Are, why not? Are you doing that? Sure. Okay. We are. We uh, are. I mean, as a task force like uh, the SNOT, you know, we have <coughs> women in most of the communities in grassroots. I mean, like I said, it's a coalition mm -hmm. of CSOs, NGOs, and, you know, and individuals, grassroots women, associations. So we have women in almost every division and subdivision. Okay. So yeah. to mobilize the women, I don't think it's a, it's really an issue. Okay, um, professor, what should be the way out of uh, the current impasse? It's difficult. Mm -hmm. I think we must not fold our arms and sit down. I think we must stop the blame game. I think we must focus human rights. I think we must continue advocating for dialogue, for ceasefire, and Amber, the Amber people, the Amber boys. I think the leaders should work more, well, not the soldiers, but the leaders of these different groups should work more with their enemies to come to the dialogue table rather than focus on the war on yeah i hear a lot of them declaring war 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 i've heard few of them declare i went and i met this person and we had failed talks we should at least even start with failed talks with the enemy rather than no talks at all rather than focus only on war i think we should focus on dialogue when people at least talk, they at least know the perspective of the other person. If I don't talk with you, I won't know what you think, I won't know what you feel, I won't know what you can give up or what you don't want to give up. So I think that the only way forward is for us to first of all start with a ceasefire and then we talk with each other. First as local groups, 
second as national groups and then thirdly with the international community mediating what is happening so that we strive a bargain there is no way we'll have only win 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 we must also have losses to consolidate our gains i don't think in any situation of conflict people have one group has won all the things that they want no we have to lose something to gain something so my advice is that these leaders should start talking with each other and then they talk with the state of Cameroon. They look for means of talking with the state of Cameroon rather than lay, lay down uh, uh, conditions that are not flexible for a beginning of a dialogue. They should be a little bit flexible to at least give some room for talking rather than just saying, if this doesn't happen, we don't talk. I don't think that is the way forward. Okay, but uh, what should uh, our mothers be doing? I'm talking about SNOT alongside other um, uh, women uh, group. Will you just limit yourself to the social media campaign that uh, begins next week? No. If you if you have been following us up in the past, mm -hmm. we do have uh, statements, we have position papers, and we try to dialogue well it's really not a dialogue to communicate with these different bodies telling them our own points of view advocating for them to lay down weapons and focus on dialogue when we have these position statements we share with the different leaders of the non-state groups and the state groups and the international community hoping that with our experiences on the ground as those who leave the crisis they can at least listen to us we listened to, um, last week i think to timon nagi when he expressed his views about the southern cameroon crisis we did get our previous statement through to him in which we um analyzed the situation of the reconstruction and made our own pro proposals and suggestions as to how to go about the reconstruction. We also serve the state of Cameroon such statements and we believe that if these different organizations listen to us as those who bear the pain on the ground rather than hearsay or what they read on the social media, but from women who leave this situation from a first-hand situation, from a first-hand perspective, they are going to listen to us and try to craft out a situation where a peace, a ceasefire would take place and a dialogue would take place. Okay. Um, Eliza, yes. what should happen now? Uh, je voudrais dire à Professeur Lem que uh, qu'on passe très attention avec ceux-là qui viennent de l'extérieur qui veulent nous aider. Uh, tu vois, on a dit, moi, ce qui me concerne, et dans le rôle des états unis qui sont dans le jeu trouble pour la résolution de ce conflit je continue de dire que on va s'asseoir entre frères et sœurs d'abord chez nous en interne avec nos frères et nos sœurs qui sont en france comme professeur et tout et que ces blancs qu'on cite là les tibor nagués qu'on sort attendent d'abord quand nous aurons trouvé nous mêmes d'abord les solutions pour gérer ce problème, les tibons navires viendront nous aider. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire à l'immédiat, là maintenant Il faut dire non au massacre sur les femmes. Et le non au massacre sur les femmes, c'est ne plus être indifférent. C'est se lever, comme elles vont se lever là, nous tous, pour leur dire que ce qu'on fait n'est pas bien. Maintenant, dans la continuité, asseoir un véritable dialogue dans le sens où certains ne veulent pas déposer les armes, d'autres veulent déposer les armes. Mais il y a aussi cette peur-là. Donc que toutes les femmes soient courageuses comme Delphine le fait là, et que ensemble nous levons et que nous disons non. Donc Delphine, moi je suis partant. Pour que cette mobilisation que vous allez avoir, il faut que tout le monde se lève. Il faut que Prime TV en parle. Il faut que la CIA TV en parle. Il faut que Equinox en parle. Il faut que pour un temps qu'on arrête les débats. CPDM, eh, CRM, eh, SDF, eh, anglophone, francophone, Bassa, Bamileke. Témoin de Jéhovah, on fait ceci. Non. 
pour un instant, on doit arrêter tout ça et qu'en une journée, que vous tous les journalistes, vos collègues, vous ne parlez que de cette modulation, une modulation de femmes, que dans les réseaux sociaux, qu'on ne parle que de ça, que les hommes politiques arrêtent un peu la politique de côté, ce jour-là, ce jour-là doit être un jour exceptionnel pour que nous, francophones, qui avons la chance, comme a dit Delphine, de voir comment nous sommes ici, on rit, on est content par rapport à nos frères, ceux qui vivent en brousse, là-bas, que ce jour-là, nous serons tous debout pour les soutenir dans ce combat. Ça peut être aussi pour une fois, parce qu'il y a même ça, hein, au Cameroun, une journée où tous les Camerounais vont arrêter de faire ce qu'ils ont à faire pour dire non à la sauvagerie en solidarité avec leurs sœurs et leurs frères qui vivent les atrocités là-bas dans le Nozo. Il est temps que nous tous nous levons pour cela. Et pour okay. ça, nous sommes partants et nous avons soutenu des films dans ce combat. Hello, good evening. Once more, it's Cyprien from uh, Limbe. I want to ask the guy from Kumba who said that women shouldn't date uh, either an amber boy or a military. Does it mean that if a lady who got married to a military man should divorce her husband because this, of this crisis? Probably not. So women have the right to date whosoever they want to date. The act is barbaric and the government should increase the speed at which they want to solve this crisis. If not, more women, in particular and civilians in general, will be killed uh, by both parties. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, this one says, uh, please, if you are my enemy, I will not expect you to solve a problem. Thanks. I am Mr. Mwande. Is writing from Dop. Good evening to you, Mr. Mwande. Uh, please tell. Uh, please tell Ma Delphine to come and open a, a women's group in Kwakwa. I'm sure um, <laughs> uh, she has heard uh, your call. Hello, Mr. Leo. Greetings to you in the studio. I'm Far Austin writing from Idea. Why this anglophone crisis can't get to an end is because the government of Cameroon keeps lying to the population. If the government really wants this crisis to stop, let them speak the truth. Uh, to the wall, okay. Uh, good evening to you all. We should take talk to the uniform people not to be harassing civilians on market days, just as what happened in mile 28 Womb Wom Road. As a result of that, our uh, Womb Road has been blocked by our boys for fear of their parents not to be beaten. Okay, I don't know who uh, your boys are. <laughs> This one says, why are we so much interested on the crime committed by the Ambas only and forget about the killings of the soldiers on the innocent citizens, just like the issue of yesterday which the soldiers killed two little children of an Okada man on their way to look for Yamakuru, why can them... No, I'm sure. we, uh, yesterday's, yesterday's uh, program, we started discussing it, we had a live video so from Tico. One person was killed and not two. Um, we discussed about that uh, yesterday. We unfortunately have to end at this uh, juncture. Uh, Professor, we want to say we are very grateful you are part of uh, the show this evening. And uh, we hope to have you um, very soon again. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. We also want to say we are grateful you came to be part of uh, the program, Delphine, all the way from Bali. Thank you very much, Leonard. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you, and anytime you need me, just okay. give me a ring. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, to you, Zang. Zang, ah, thank you for coming. Merci, merci. Et il faut encourager Delphine. C'est beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup de courage. Et il faut que vous sachiez que nous serons avec vous dans ce combat. Thank you. Okay, we also want to thank uh, those of you who took time off to watch the program, especially those who sent text messages. As you know, we can never read all of them. We want also to note that many persons are complaining that you can't get our uh, us. We have moved our frequencies. We are now on uh, frequency 12,333 and uh, symbol rate 30,000. We want to thank the production team also. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.